Yeah. No fake promises. Yeah. Keep it real with me. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Tragic oh. music. We don't. Okay, guys, it's your girl Sammy Fatour, and I'm back with another video today. I'm actually out having lunch, and I'm taking you guys with me. Um, Rina, you want to eat this first, then you can use the plate. Eat, yeah, eat this first, then you can use the plate to do to do that. Okay. This is my salad. I'm having Caesar salad and um and salmon. How is it? It's good. I didn't get my wings today, guys, because I don't think I could be able to eat so much food. Guys, I went and take my my client to um to get her her booster shot. decided that um I'm gonna come out to have lunch and I'm taking you guys with me good yeah. why don't you have a next yeah, slice yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> why don't you have a next slice where they break it up into like, like no more yeah like segments i guess would be the way to play you're full yeah <laughs> let me show them what we have in pizza yes, salmon for me right, right, right. and yeah so that wasn't a day off that was and i'm having my wine Beautiful. 
beautiful girl. That's you. That's you. Yes. That's you. Yes, that's me. Cute. Okay, guys, so we are having, I am having salmon and I'm having Caesar salad and salmon. Rina is having a pizza and a cup of coffee, which is finished, and I am having a glass of wine. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. this is about it. You didn't finish your dinner. You said you're having back pain, so we have to go home. No, no, no. <laughs> Rina, stop. That's okay. I'm fine with that. Trust me, I don't feel no kind of way, okay? Yes, and um, for the pizza and the salmon and the salad. I'll grab your smaller one. Yeah. Um, and the bell please. I'm gonna put your... Guys, look at this. My nails is broke. I broke my nails. You broke your nail? Yeah. I broke my nails, but we'll be going home now, so that's okay. Thank you so much. Um, can we have the bill, please? Oh, yes. Thank you. Huh? Thank you. Thank you so much. Stay out for a while. I wanted to, but you want to go home. No, I don't want to go home. I want to stay with you outside. But you say you have back pain. So what? Back pain means you want to sleep. No. Doesn't no, mean no, that? No, 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 no. Okay. She's having back pain, but um, she doesn't want to complicate things so she want to stay so I know her and I know that she's having back pain and I'm going to take her home and that's all period and that's all PBA that's all PBA I like to mess with her I like to play with her Is this empty? that's yours but it's okay you can let it stay right there and my salad we did not finish this mm. Mm. okay so I'm gonna pay my bill now guys Am I the only female that loves to take out my card? That just love to get everything for myself? Like, literally, a person can treat me, but I don't even know how to say it because I'm gonna get everything that I want for myself. Cause that's just, that's just how, um, that's just how I think it should be, and that's how I want it to be. I want to be able to get myself everything. It's okay for me to work real hard. But, yeah, it's okay for me to work hard once I can get everything for myself. And I don't have to ask anybody for anything. I don't have to be bothering anybody for help and stuff like that. Like, that is so much for me. I just love to do that. Thank you. Okay, so I gave $10 tip because I don't have no money. I gave him $10 tip because I am broke. $10 tip? Yeah. Because I don't have no more money. 
But that sounds way too much. That's too much? That's not too much. No. Ten dollar tip. Yeah. That's too much? What was it you have on that? Sixty-four dollars. Six dollars worth of it. Six dollars? Really? That's what you want me to give him? I want you to save some money. I am saving money. I want him to have some money too. A good tip is always good. That's okay. All right, guys. So I am getting myself ready to go home, but I'm sure gonna have all of my wine because it is very, it's not cheap. So I'm not gonna throw it away. My wine is for $9. Nine dollars. Mm. You like that? I like it when you dance. You like when I dance? Mm -hmm. You think I'm one of the best dancers? Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> Do you want to leave right right now or I can have my wine? Can I have my wine? Yes. Because they won't allow me to leave with it. No, I won't go home until you finish your wine. Okay. Because the wine and the roses are a girl best friend, right? Yes. The wine is nice. It's kind of making me feel a little cutish now. That's the feeling that wine gives to me all the time when I have it. Let me clean my nose. Wine for the queen. Period. Period. Today is actually a beautiful, beautiful day outside. And I just want to encourage somebody that don't be ashamed of your hustle. Okay? Alright. So, I am a caregiver. Um, if you are living in a state or if you have any idea what's a caregiver, you know exactly what I mean. And if you don't, I'm going to give you a sneak little, I'm going to give you just a little example what it is a caregiver. So I take care of um, a lit person, which I only have one client now because I choose to work with one person per time. And um, my job requires me pushing a wheelchair sometimes. This is me. This is me on my job. I do it loud and proud. Because that's what paid the bills. That's what makes my kids happy. And that, that is what makes me live the life that I want to live. And taking me closer and closer towards my dream. So I want to encourage someone today not to be ashamed of your hustle, to do it loud and proud and to put God in the midst of everything that you, that you do. And I want to encourage somebody today also. It doesn't matter how much you're working, just save. You know the other day, um, I came to Jamaica la, um, Monday. Today is, today is Today is Monday, right, Rena? And Monday, I came to do something big for my son. This is what I want to tell you all something to. I keep cutting out, starting and cutting out, but I want to tell you this. Don't wait to achieve what other people achieve to be proud of yourself. Once you set a goal and you reach that goal and you get it, you are successful and you should be proud of yourself. Even if no one else is proud of you, you should be proud of yourself. So at the age of, um, I'm 35 now, yes. I'm now the owner of a second piece of land. This one is for my, my youngest child, Jake Wan. This is a birthday gift to him. I am gonna give you a full story time, but I heard about it. I was looking for it for him because I never, I was never the mother that believes in birthday parties and kids dressing like gangsters and big women and stuff like that. I was always the kind of person who thinks that kids would should have, like you should, 
you should give them asset things but life was life is so hard it's not easy to do but you can you can throw partner that's what i did i throw partner with my cousin ami and i save all my drawers and i save up my money from doing this job that that i do now and when i heard about the land i was like um okay i was like at first it was going to my uncle that's a long story and i'm gonna tell y'all about it but then i was like that's too much i'm not gonna buy it for that um that's too much it should be cheaper but then my mom and my aunt and everybody started telling me no that's diamond you're getting diamond so i said okay then let me take it bob i called my my boss and i told him that i wanted four days off and i wanted to leave tomorrow he was like whoa what's wrong it's early I'll be like, um, I had some stuff to do with it for my son, which I wasn't lying because I did have stuff to do for my son because that's what I went to Jamaica to do. So I bought my ticket, I rented a car, I paid my cousin Alden to um, my cousin to come get me and drive me around. I gathered, um, you know, sent home my money. I took home some. Them even arrested me at the airport, but I could understand why they did because of the whole you know what is going on right now in the world with money so they thinking that i got it an illegal way which it wasn't like that it was legal all right so the moral of the conversation is everybody can get what they want you just have to work hard believe in yourself save a lot of times we're working and it's not enough for us to just to just buy what we want right right now but we, what we can do is we could actually save our money until it reached to the point where we can actually buy what we want so that's what i do i am a saver i i, I didn't use to save anything i i remember my first bank account was when my mom took up my bank account for me when I was a child. My second one was when my my brother came to Jamaica and said to me, Grace, you need a bank account. I was bank. I remember one time I traveled and I banked my money in my brother's bank account. Right? Silly, right? But then now I remember my brother, Jovan, he came and he was like, Sis, you need a bank account. You're too old to not have a bank account. I was like, yeah, that's true. I got a bank account and from that day my bank account never owes her money. I'll be saving everything that I get, it doesn't matter how small it is. And I'm encouraging y'all today to save. I'm encouraging y'all today to save, to save, to save. It's good to save. Save, save, save. I couldn't have bought that piece of land for my son's birthday if I did not save. You have to learn how to save your money. I'm not telling you that you shouldn't buy nice stuff or eat nice stuff or go nice places. You do all of that because that's a part of living. But I'm telling you, to save your money is very important. You never know what can happen. Save money in the US, save money in whichever country you're from. Thank you for making it your girl Summit Patour. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and to tell a friend to tell a friend about my channel. I love you guys so, 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 so much.